Hello, welcome to Mastering Fifth Grade Math. We've been doing a lot of work with dividing fractions. Here we're going to round out our skills by dividing mixed numbers by other mixed numbers. So far we've divided fractions by mixed numbers and fractions by whole numbers and so on. Now we're going to complete it and say, well, what if you have a mixed number divided by another mixed number? Um, but you'll find out that it's pretty much exactly as you might expect. So if you had something like 2 and 1 half, and you were dividing it by one and one third. What would you have? Two and a half divided by one and a third. Well, the first thing we want to do is always, always convert these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So two times two is four, plus one is five, over two, like that. And then we'll divide by what we have here. Three times one is three, plus one is four, and we always write it again over three. So what we have then is a situation where we have division of fractions. So we have the 5 halves as usual, and we change it to multiplication, and we flip this over to 3 fourths. And now that we have it into this form, we can multiply. 5 times 3 is 15. 2 times 4 is 8. So we get 15 eighths. And that is basically the answer, but it's improper. So how many times will 8 go into 15? It can only go one time. Because 8 times 2 is 16, that's too much. So 8 times 1 is 15, or 8 times 1 is 8. The difference between 8 and 15 uh, is going to be 7, and we always write it over 8. So we get 1 and 7 eighths. What if you had 3 and 2 thirds divided by 1 and 1 half, like that? Well, the same sort of thing would happen. We take the mixed numbers, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11, and we write it over 3, and then we divide by this one. 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3, and we write it over the 2. Now, we change this to multiplication, so we'll have 11 thirds times, and we flip this one to 2 thirds. And then, we multiply. 11 times 2 on the top is 22, 3 times 3 is 9. So we have 22 over 9. So again, we think we're done, but then we see, wait a minute, this is an improper fraction. How many times will 9 go into 22? 9 times 2 is 18, so it can go 2 times. The difference between 18 and 22 is a remainder of 4, and we write it over 9. Always over 9. 2 and 4 ninths. So you see, the skills that we've learned is really applied over and over again. We just have a slightly more complicated problem where we have two mixed numbers. What if we have 5 and 1 third divided by 2 and 2 thirds? What do we get there? Well we say we're going to convert this. So 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16 over the 3, divided by this guy. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8 over this 3. And then here we change this to multiplication. 16 over 3 times, and we flip this one to 3 eighths. And so then we uh, have 16 times 3 on the top, which if you do 16 times 3, you'll find that that's 48 and 3 times 8 is 24. So we have 48 over 24, and then we see that we can simplify this quite a bit because we can divide the top and the bottom by 4. 48 divided by 4, if you think about it, is 12, because 12 times 4 is 48, and 24 divided by 4 is 6, because 6 times 4 is 24. So if you didn't see it before with 48 over 24, you should definitely see it now. You can do this division directly. 12 divided by 6 is just simply 2. That's the final answer. If you recognized it up here, 48 divided by 24 is also 2. You could have just written the answer straight out, but here we simplify just to show you.